I uh, work uh, in El Paso, I work in, uh, here in Morogoro, and I also interface with our manufacturing uh, partner up in uh, Moamedia, Morocco, a company called MCI Sante Anamali. So my role on a project is really project management, project direction, and problem solver. So in order to translate, to move a scientific idea into something that's used by everybody, it takes a whole spectrum of people with different capabilities and different interests. We need the scientists to make the discovery. We need the product project developers to take that discovery and form it into something that's usable. Then we need the manufacturers to actually make it and get it licensed for use. So in this case, we're developing a vaccine. This vaccine was developed initially in the 1970s by the United States Army in Frederick, Maryland. Many, many different scientists have worked on this over the years. Lots of science has been done. And so now we took this idea <clears throat> and we're working uh, under the auspices of fund funding by the United States Agency for International Development, part of the, the President Obama's Feed the Future program. And we're translating this vaccine into something that we could use to protect animals. So the collaboration is really between the science at the University of Texas in El Paso, the manufacturing in Morocco, and here at Sequoia is where they mix. Here's where we're taking the science and applying it to the animal studies, and then we'll take that data and provide that to our manufacturing partner in Morocco so they can now obtain, uh, in, in the case of Morocco, TFDA licensing of this vaccine for use in animals. Primary beneficiaries are, I would say, maybe threefold. First, it's the farmer or the pastoralist or the, farm, the, the animal grower because they have a large investment in the animals. This disease, when it occurs, has devastating effects in animal supply and, and mortality. Second would be the translators of that feed. You have to get the animal and its milk, let's say from the field to the shelf. And so, for example, in the outbreak here in Tanzania and in Kenya in 2006-07, many of those people lost their business because there was no food. The food supply was stopped, interrupted. And then the third beneficiary is our people, because this disease can be spread from animals into humans. And so by blocking the disease, or at least minimizing it and trying to reduce it in the animal population, we anticipate that it will have a beneficial effect in public health. Usually the challenges tend not to be technical, they tend to be people. And so we're dealing with multicultural partners. Certainly the Moroccans on the, on, up in Morocco, the group there are very nice people. We're dealing with our own US people and then here in Tanzania. And we sometimes work to a different drum. We, you know, some of us work differently. And so getting, first of all, to understand the cultural differences was very, very important. Uh, you know, if I could say in Tanzania, a lot of people haven't, they, they are very careful. And so pole, pole, pole. In the United States, we say ready, fire, aim. <laughs> you know, we're, we, we like to push ahead. And the manufacturing people in Morocco they're very methodical because they have a certain way of doing things. So now my role has been to try to bridge, bandage, solve those issues and get everybody on the same team.